To set up auditory switch scanning in SNAP, you'll need to first go to the settings, message window, then to user and to access method menu. You can change the access method from touch to scanning. Then if you click back, you've got options of what type of scan. One of the th key things if you're doing auditory scanning is that you will need to turn on audio feedback. And if you're doing something like row column scanning, you'll just hear the first button of the row. Message window, chat words, greet and manner. I want to show you mess. If you want this to uh, be a group scan, so it would say chat words, I'm asking a question I want, etc. you'll need to do this manually. So if you go to page, you can see here scan groups. This is where you can set up what group you want in the scan. So if I want to do my first row of the scan, I'm going to click group one and click on the buttons that I want in that scan. And the audio cue, I might want chat words, questions, I want, I like this. Okay, and I need to add another group and I can do the same process. So it is quite a manual process to be able to do a group scan where you get those auditory scans across whole software and you will have to do this page by page. Let's do this one. Okay, keep going or I can do my groups however I want to. Click done. And then in my user access method, scanning I've got set one switch scan, scan behaviors, we need group scan. Turned on, click done. Chat words, control rules, great, T categories. I want to show you, I'm telling. Now you notice that it's not waiting for the scan to finish. So we're going to have to slow the scan down. Mm, going to I'll switch auto scan and I'm just going to change it to speak full audio cue before advancing. Let's see if that's better. Chat words, question, I want, I like this, Kentra rules, great, telling you something, let's go, don't like, categories. So you can see now that those that I put in a group have a full auditory scan. So it's a slow process, but can be done.